All right, everybody. This is Douglas Allen Frazier with I'm Going Fishing 21-3. We're getting to go to the honey hole. We've had some awesome rain, and I wanted to check this out. We've been down on the coast for a week, and now we're back. And all I've got to say is this. I've never seen it this full. I've never seen it with this configuration. You should be looking at a, a log that's a huge log that's right in front of me. It's completely moved. It's going across ways where before it used to be over on this side over here. So we've got a lot of water in here, and we're just going to see what happens. I mean, some people say, well, why do you come back here? It's right along the highway. It's noisy. But you know what? I catch fish here. I've seen some bass in here. Not yet, but there was oh, oh, a month or so ago uh, two bass cruising in here from the main the main lake down the way and we're just going to see what happens today the purpose is to catch some fish here and take them to my neighbor's tank and uh, start restocking it with some bluegill and so we've got some wally worms worms and we're going to use those Okay, I've got this little dock runner set up. It works very well. We're just going to hook the worm in here. Okay. Okay, worm, go and do your bidding. We're going to go right over here. This area typically has been an area where some of the bigger fish in the past have hidden out so we're going to see what happens I'm not using any weight just the weight of the worm and a bobber and we've already got a hit and we've already oh, got off I'll put the worm back down but that felt like oh, a medium medium we'll just see what happens Okay, I think I got this one. Yeah, I got one. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. This is a nice little bluegill. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, look at that. Whoops, come here. I got to get you unhooked now. Okay. Nice looking fish. I am using the Jimmy Houston method of no barb on the hook. And that really helps from getting them off these rubbery type of lips. Look at that. There we go. In the bucket. Number one. One worm, not even fully used. One fish. Two casts. Okay, cast number three. And I think I'm only going to fish here for maybe 10 minutes or so. And we'll just see what we have. We already got a bite. And we've. Oh, oh, nope, got off that time. I still got a little bit of worm. We'll cast back over there. So they're, af they're active. They're definitely active. That's what you want. Okay, we've got some. Well, these must be some of the little guys. Well, we'll cast over here again. Well, that was a, that was a solid bite. I think I got this guy. Yep, I do. He's a little dude. He's a little dude, but nice fish. Nice fish. Gonna be good in my neighbor's tank. That's what I want. I'm restocking back in there. Boy, you're clamping down on there. Open your mouth so I can get you out. Well, how about that? I double hooked. No, it didn't. There we go. 
Yep. Okay, we still got the worm. Okay, I'm gonna move up a little bit. Gonna come up at the other end of the log here. See what we've got up here. Still using only one worm. Whoa. Yes. Now this this one. Whoa, look at this guy. Woo! That's, yeah, you are definitely a fighter. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, this is number three. There we go. Okay. This worm is a champ. Got three fish on there. Okay. Let's see if we go for four. Another part of the log. Gonna go right right straight out in front. That's kind of dangerous for me. Okay, we got something. We got something. Yep, we do. We got number four. Oh, this is this is the littlest one so far. He'll grow up. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. He swallowed the hook. I don't think I can get it out even with the Jimmy Houston deal. Yeah. Yeah, look. Just got to put him off camera. Get my hook back. Whoops. How'd you do that, little fish? Come on. I hate to do this, but... Forgot to bring my forceps. So this would be turtle bait. There's some big turtles that live in here. Okay. So, one worm, and I guess that was fish number four. Hate to throw that one back, but that's what happens sometimes. Okay, we'll get the worm on here again. Whoops. These are these types of worms so you don't have to refrigerate that I'm using from Walmart. Okay, let's see what we got now. So every place we've been casting, we've been getting the fish. So that's good. Okay, we got a bite already. Whoa, yeah, aggressive on that one. Okay, I'm gonna drop it just right down in the middle now. See what happens there. We got a bite. And fish got a worm. Okay, I guess that was worm number three. Okay, well, we'll get a, another worm here. Just kind of do a little wacky worm style right in the middle. Okay. Got a bite. And we've got a fish. Okay. This is good. I like this. I'm going to be putting these in my neighbor's tank. So that's what we want. Nice fish. Okay. 
Okay, we'll do this for about another five minutes. Let me look on my watch. Okay. At 1316, we will call it a fishing day here. And we will take the fish down to my neighbor's tank. Let's see. Let's go someplace else. Let's go up over here. If we got anybody back up in this area. This is it. Okay. Yep. Little dude. Yep. Oh man. Another swallow. Did you get this one? Oh, maybe we can. Oh, uh, oh. Well, he swallowed it too much. Okay. So this is turtle bait again. Okay, well, let's see what I can do on the back side of the log over here. Wow, I've never been out there before. We're getting a bite. Getting a bite. Whoa, something went after the bobber very aggressively. I don't know what that was. I know on my neighbor's tank, that would have been a big bluegill. See what happens. See what happens. Definitely went for the bobber. I can see the worm now in the water. You probably can't see it, but the water's clear enough. It's close enough I can actually see the worm. Nothing yet. Let's see if you get it off of here. Just drop it straight down. Oh, that's why. I still had the head of that other fish. That's kind of gross. Get the worm back. Boy, this is a skinny little worm. I think I'll get another one. Okay. Probably not a great view when I bend down like that. By the way, the camera's set up. I apologize for that. Okay, we're going to cast out here again. Let's see what we got. I'm surprised I don't have a bite already. If 
right there. Something small playing with it. I can see them. Come on, get it. I can see them right there chasing it out to them. Got one guy going for it. Little toad, little toad going for it. Go out right there. Little, I could see the little one was definitely going for it. The bigger one was just kind of looking around. We got a bunch of little ones right now. Yeah. Got the worm. He's the champ. I'm gonna move this bobber a little bit down. Okay, that'll be good. Okay, instead of bending over and having kind of a bad view, I'll pick up the worms. Don't really have a flat place where I can put the... Well, yeah, man, let me check it over here. Maybe this will be flat enough. Won't fall off. That's good. That's a much better view. Okay. Go out this end. Go out here. Oh, we got something nice. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a nice one. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. You got that, dude. Look at that. Nice fish. Put you in there. Yeah, that's a nice guy. Those would be good eating sides if you're gonna take them home. We'll cast over there again, see if there's anything happening. See the time? Oh, it's time to go. We got the worm off so it is definitely time to go so this is uh, finishing up on the honey hole this is the 26th the 26th of September 2024 down on the honey hole and now going to take the fish back to my neighbor's tank so we will see you shortly in a while Okay, we are at my neighbor's tank and we're going to release the catch from the honey hole. Let me get him out of the back of my pickup here. And we will take him to a release point. And they'll be happy little campers in their new home. So here we go. Let's head on down. Like I said, if you've been following me for any time at all in the last two years, you've seen this tank really down and now i'm just proclaiming i've never seen it this far up in the three years that i've been blessed to fish here at my neighbors on their 250 acre ranch this is about two and a half three acre what we call in texas a tank other people call them ponds you can call them whatever you want where you live 
But I'm in Texas and I'm calling it a tank. And it's a great place to be. And we're just gonna see how these guys start out in their new home. I'm gonna walk out to this point over here and we'll let them go out here. Get started. Okay, definitely a beautiful day. We'll see hogs down here once in a while. Well, they won't be so close now. They're gonna have some other stuff to do to deal with. But uh, anyway, we see deer down here, turkey. Uh, we see Canadian geese. So let's see what we've got in here and pull these guys out. See if I can highlight them a little bit. Come on. Now well, maybe we'll have to do a mass exodus. Okay, there's one. There we go. There's another one. Come on. Okay, I think we're just going to do the mass exodus. We'll come over here. We'll just kind of put them in the water a little bit. How many got in there? Looks like six. One. Two. Three, four. Five. I guess only five. Okay, you guys are set free in the new tank. Do well and prosper. And this one is just hanging Hanging right close to the shore. Hey, buddy, what's wrong? Go on out there. You got a new home. Look at all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, have fun. So anyway, you all be blessed. This is Douglas Allen Frazier with I'm Going Fishing 21-3. And come back to the devotional channel of Casting to the Right Side. And I'll just put it this way. Fishing is good for you. And catching is a blessing. We'll see you next time.